Hey guys, it's Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about my October favorites. It is officially November, which is crazy. Next month is the last month of the year. I do not know where 2018 went, but I wanted to share what I was loving for the month of October. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. As soon as the weather started getting a little bit cooler here, I feel like my skin immediately started getting dry, which is insane. So I have been loving my Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Boom Boom Cream, whatever the heck it's called. I just mentioned this in my Sephora VIB sale recommendations. There is a holiday kit, which I will link the holiday kit below, and I'll also link just this cream below. But this is a body butter, and it smells magical. It is so amazing. It's a really, really thick cream, so it keeps your skin hydrated. It just feels so good to the touch. I don't know why I just did that. I now need to take my ring off so that I can pull this into my hands. But this will just hydrate your skin like there's no tomorrow and it smells amazing. Every single time I wear it, people ask what perfume I'm wearing, which obviously is not a perfume, but it is amazing. This holiday set that they have comes with like a body spray, I believe, and then also a hand cream. So, I'm not going to pick up the set just because I already have this and it also comes with the body wash which I still have sitting over here. This is amazing. It is a splurge for a body wash but it smells amazing. So um, this cream I just think is so good for the winter if you are a dry person and you want something that smells amazing. Maybe we should start doing shots every time I say amazing. Anyone in? Drinking game? It is the weekend. It's Friday. I'm still a little bit sick, so maybe I won't do it. You guys can do it. I don't know. Okay, next I am wearing this. This is from Marc Jacobs. This is the lip gloss stick. So it's a lip gloss, but it's in a stick formula. It's very interesting. It looks like it's a lipstick, and it looks like this would be a lip gloss that you take a doe foot applicator out of, but it's actually like a full-on lip gloss applicator, or lipstick applicator. You just twist it up but you cannot twist it down. So do not twist it up too much because you will regret it and you cannot get it back. But this is just such a creamy, nice formula. This is in the shade One Mauve Time, I believe, yes. And I love this. I wanna get it in, get it in another shade. I, I don't know why I was drawn to buy this one because I had my eyes on a couple other ones when I bought it, but I do love this shade. I just now need something that's like a more neutral shade because I am a nude lip junkie. Okay, I did a video on this a long time ago. I actually just mentioned this in my Sephora VIB sale video as well, but this is the Laura Mercier translucent loose powder in the glow formula. I did a video comparing this and the original, and I just love this to set my face. And I said in that last video, the Sephora video, which I will link up my Sephora video because the sale is going on right now. If your rouge is going on this weekend, if you are VIB is going on next weekend, I believe, and then if you're a beauty insider, it's going on the following weekend. I'll link that video here. It has all of the details, codes, and then my recommendations so you guys can see all of that. But this powder, I love it to set my entire face. It gives me just a nice healthy glow. I do have to use it in a lot of moderation. Like you can't just pack it on and expect not to look like you are a golden glowing bulb. But it's amazing. So um, I will link the video that I compared these to. I did a side-by-side -side test so you could see the difference in my face. So I'll link that video up here too if you are interested in that. Okay, this is an insanely expensive bronzer. This is my Chanel Soul Tan de Chanel bronzer. It's a liquid bronzer. And I feel like as soon as it got colder and my skin was getting drier, I wanted to use more cream products. And so I've been grabbing for this a lot recently. And I just think that it leaves the most beautiful, healthy glow to my skin. I just dip my sponge into it and then dab it in the places that I would normally bronze up my face. And I just think it's beautiful. The downside is that this only comes in one shade. So it's not a very versatile product if the shade doesn't work for your skin tone. But I personally really like it. And at first when I bought it, I bought it I think over the summer, either in the spring or the summer, and I was worried I'd only get my use out of it in the summer, but I'm definitely getting tons of use out of it right now. So if you're worried about wearing cream products in the winter, don't be because your skin is naturally drier normally and depending on where you live. So this I highly, highly recommend. At least going and just trying it on. This next product is from Tarte. This is the Tarte Tardis Mascara. It is not new, but it was new to me. I don't know why I haven't tried it, but this one is my favorite base right now. 
so the bristles are really good at just separating and lengthening my lashes so i have been using this as my first coat and then my oh my hourglass caution extreme lash mascara as my second coat i feel like the two of them together are like the dynamic duo i'm obsessed with them and i just feel like the tardis just really gives me a nice base for my hourglass one to work off of so i love the two of them together but this one is a new one for me and i needed to mention it to you guys next is from urban decay this is the aphrodisiac palette i did a full video on this collection which i will link up here i don't feel like i've talked about it since doing that video though and i did just want to mention it because i think this is a great little palette it has this nice mirror and then it does have the six shades and this can create such a beautiful look it's a super simple palette and it's tiny so it's really nice to travel with but i just feel like i don't know i didn't give this enough love after i did my video on it and the colors are just absolutely beautiful and you can just create such a gorgeous look and i also love that it does have this really dark chocolatey brown shade that you can use to line your lap or line your eyes and you do have some nice transitions so if you just want to do something simple and throw this it is in the shade beyond this is a nice like peachy brown cream color that you can just throw into your crease instead of a bronzer if you wanted and then use that dark shade as your eyeliner that's all you would have to do to like not even do much i don't know what i'm saying right now or you can kind of create an entire look there are some really gorgeous lid shades in here i just think that this palette is really great and i love it and i've been using it and i don't know why i haven't talked about it again so i just wanted to give it a little bit of love earlier this month i did a full face of bare minerals products it was my best and worst of everything that i've used from bare minerals which i will link that video up here as well and i wanted to talk about the invisible bronze i have it in the shade medium this is so gorgeous it honestly is like undetectable on your skin you can put it on and it doesn't look like you are wearing bronzer but you look bronzed it's the most interesting thing ever i love this i will say that i you can't really even see it on my skin right now but it is just the most beautiful formula i highly recommend you going to the store and swatching this or even putting it onto your skin because it is gorgeous and i cannot get enough of it i feel like i've been going back and forth between this and my hourglass all month which you guys know my hourglass one is my absolute favorite holy grail hands down down best bronzer ever but i've been picking up this one a lot as well which is saying a lot so i just think that you guys should go and swatch this it is beautiful next is from nyx these are the total control foundation drops i have them in the shade buff this one is actually basically gone i actually recently just picked up a new bottle of it this is my third one of these i am obsessed with them they are so good i feel like they give you nice buildable coverage you can mix it in to like a moisturizer if you want or you can use them on their own i use them on their own it gives me a full coverage look i love them i love the finish it's a very natural finish it's my skin still looks like skin it doesn't look like i'm masking it or anything i just love these so much i cannot recommend them enough i have a couple of fashion favorites for you guys this month i mention my bracelets quite a bit just because obviously i love them since i created them but the stack i want to talk about this month is the laura stack it's this really pretty blue stack and i just feel like these have gone with everything that i have been wearing for winter like all of these like creams and browns and maroons i just think that it goes with everything even like the oranges and the yellows and the reds these bracelets just go with all of those and so i am obsessed with them i will leave it linked down below i always give you guys a coupon code for my youtube fam so i will link that this stack down below i also got an apple watch when the new apple watches came out i bought the version 3 because they did a price cut on them and so this one is the gold one and i was having the hardest time finding a band that matched it and i finally found one this is just a magnetic band so i think it's really pretty and it honestly it matches perfectly and it stays in place i can work out in this which is nice i don't ever have to change the band out if i don't want to and i just i'm so happy that i found one that matches so i just wanted to give this a shout out because i think that it looks sleek and it looks like a normal watch i am such a watch wearer i don't leave the house without wearing a watch and so when i got the, my apple watch i wanted to make sure that it would still be functional but like fashionable because i want to wear bracelets with it and i don't want it to look too sporty if i'm wearing normal clothes so this band i found on amazon i will link it it was super affordable and it actually 
actually matches perfectly and I'm so, so, so happy with it. It stays in place and I'm just obsessed with it. So I wanted to shout it out in case you guys also have an Apple Watch and you need a band that you like. My last fashion favorite are these boots. These are knee high boots. They have a little bit of a heel. It's like a three inch ish heel. These are the taupe shade and they come in a cognac and a black shade as well. I believe they were $39. They were such a steal for how expensive they look. They do have a zipper for part of it. So you just pull it on, but you, I like that you can open this up and like pull your pant legs down because sometimes I feel like my pant legs get bunchy inside of my boots. So these I just feel like are the perfect shade for winter and fall. And I like that they didn't break the bank. I recently purchased a $225 pair of boots and now I'm feeling like I regret that. I actually haven't worn them outside yet because I think I'm going to return them because then I found those for 40 and I'm like, why did I just spend 225? That's insane. So anyway, I just feel like they're a really good steal for the quality of what they are and they're really comfortable. So I just figured I should share them with you because it's so affordable and you guys need a good deal just as much as I do. Alrighty guys, that is everything for this video. Let me know down below in the comments what your favorite product from October was. I'm interested to know what you guys have been loving. If it's a beauty product, maybe I need to try it out myself. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.